Book 2, Psalm 42, for the director of music, a muskil of the sons of Korah. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while men say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go with the multitude, leading the procession to the house of God with shouts of joy and thanksgiving among the festive throng. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. My soul is downcast within me, Therefore, I will remember you from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from Mount Mizar. Deep cold to deep in the roar of your waterfalls, all your waves and breakers have swept over me. By day the Lord directs his love, at night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taunt me, saying to me all day long, Where is your God? Why are you downcast, O oh my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Psalm 43 Vindicate me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Rescue me from deceitful and wicked men. You are God, my stronghold. Why have you rejected me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? Send forth your light and your truth. Let them guide me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Then will I go to the altar of God, to God my joy and my delight. I will praise you with a harp, O God, my God. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Psalm 44, for the director of music, of the sons of Korah, a maskil. We have heard with our ears, O God. Our fathers have told us what you did in their days, in days long ago. With your hand you drove out the nations and planted our fathers. You crushed the peoples and made our fathers flourish. It was not by their sword that they won the land, nor did their arm bring them victory. It was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face, for you loved them. You are my King and my God, who decrees victories for Jacob. Through you we push back our enemies. Through your name we trample our foes. I do not trust in my bow. My sword does not bring me victory. But you give us victory over our enemies. You put our adversaries to shame. In God we make our boast all day long, and we will praise your name forever. Sila. But now you have rejected and humbled us. You no longer go out with our armies. You made us retreat before the enemy, and our adversaries have plundered us. You gave us up to be devoured like sheep, and have scattered us among the nations. You sold your people for a pittance, gaining nothing from their sale. You have made us a reproach to our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations. The peoples shake their heads at us. My disgrace is before me all day long, and my face is covered with shame at the taunts of those who reproach and revile me because of the enemy who is bent on revenge. All this happened to us, though we had not forgotten you or been false to your covenant. Our hearts had not turned back, our feet had not strayed from your path, but you crushed us and made us a haunt for jackals, 
and covered us over with deep darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God or spread out our hands to a foreign God, would not God have discovered it since he knows the secrets of the heart? Yet for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Awake, O Lord! Why do you sleep? Rouse yourself. Do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our misery and oppression? We are brought down to the dust. Our bodies cling to the ground. Rise up and help us. Redeem us because of your unfailing love. Psalm 45 For the Director of Music To the tune of Lilies Of the Sons of Korah A Maskil A Wedding Song My heart is stirred by a noble theme As I recite my verses for the king My tongue is the pen of a skillful writer You are the most excellent of men and your lips have been anointed with grace since God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword upon your side, O mighty one. Clothe yourself with splendor and majesty. In your majesty, ride forth victoriously in behalf of truth, humility, and righteousness. Let your right hand display awesome deeds. Let your sharp arrows pierce the hearts of the king's enemies. Let the nations fall beneath your feet. Your throne, O oh God, will last forever and ever. A scepter of justice will be the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God has set you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of joy. All your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloes and cassia. From palaces adorned with ivory, the music of the strings makes you glad. Daughters of kings are among your honored women. At your right hand is the royal bride in gold of Ophir. Listen, O oh daughter, consider and give ear. Forget your people and your father's house. The king is enthralled by your beauty. Honor him, for he is your Lord. The daughter of Tyre will come with a gift. Men of wealth will seek your favor. All glorious is the princess within her chamber. Her gown is interwoven with gold. In embroidered garments she is led to the king. Her virgin companions follow her and are brought to you. They are led in with joy and gladness. They enter the palace of the king. Your sons will take the place of your fathers. You will make them princes throughout the land. I will perpetuate your memory through all generations. Therefore, the nations will praise you forever and ever. Psalm 46, for the director of music, of the sons of Korah, according to Alamoth, a song. God is our refuge and strength an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. Selah. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Selah. Come and see the works of the Lord, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Selah. Psalm 47 for the director of music of the sons of Korah, a psalm. 
Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. How awesome is the Lord Most High, the great King over all the earth. He subdued nations under us, peoples under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loved. Selah. God has ascended amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid the sounding of trumpets. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing to him a psalm of praise. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble as the people of the God of Abraham. For the kings of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Psalm 48, a song, a psalm of the sons of Korah. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise in the city of our God, his holy mountain. It is beautiful in its loftiness, the joy of the whole earth. Like the utmost heights of Zaphon is Mount Zion, the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He has shown himself to be her fortress. When the kings joined forces, when they advanced together, they saw her and were astounded. They fled in terror. Trembling seized them there, pain like that of a woman in labor. You destroyed them like ships of Tarshish, shattered by an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord Almighty, in the city of our God. God makes her secure forever. Selah. Within your temple, O God, we meditate on your unfailing love. Like your name, O God, your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Mount Zion rejoices. The villages of Judah are glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion. Go around her. Count her towers. Consider well her ramparts. View her citadels, that you may tell of them to the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. Psalm 49 for the director of music, of the sons of Korah, a psalm. Hear this, all you peoples. Listen, all who live in this world, both low and high, rich and poor alike. My mouth will speak words of wisdom. The utterance from my heart will give understanding. I will turn my ear to a proverb. With the harp, I will expound my riddle. Why should I fear when evil days come, when wicked deceivers surround me, those who trust in their wealth and boast of their great riches? No man can redeem the life of another or give to God a ransom for him. The ransom for a life is costly. No payment is ever enough that he should live on forever and not see decay. For all can see that wise men die the foolish and the senseless alike perish and leave their wealth to others. Their tombs will remain their houses forever, their dwellings for endless generations, though they had named lands after themselves. But man, despite his riches, does not endure. He is like the beasts that perish. This is the fate of those who trust in themselves and of their followers who approve their saves. Selah. Like sheep, they are destined for the grave, and death will feed on them. The upright will rule over them in the morning. Their forms will decay in the grave, far from their princely mansions. But God will redeem my life from the grave. He will surely take me to himself. Selah. Do not be overawed when a man grows rich when the splendor of his house increases, for he will take nothing with him when he dies. His splendor will not descend with him. Though while he lived, he counted himself blessed, and men praise you when you prosper, 
he will join the generation of his fathers who will never see the light of life. A man who has riches without understanding is like the beasts that perish. Psalm 50, a psalm of Asaph. The Mighty One, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and will not be silent. A fire devours before him, and around him a tempest rages. He summons the heavens above and the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me my consecrated ones, who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaim his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, and I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings which are ever before me. I have no need of a bull from your stall or of goats from your pens, for every animal of the forest is mine and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountains, and the creatures of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine, and all that is in it. Do I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Sacrifice thank offerings to God, fulfill your vows to the Most High, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honor me. But to the wicked, God says, What right have you to recite my laws or take my covenant on your lips? You hate my instruction and cast my words behind you. When you see a thief, you join with him. You throw in your lot with adulterers. You use your mouth for evil and harness your tongue to deceit. You speak continually against your brother and slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I kept silent. You thought I was altogether like you, but I will rebuke you and accuse you to your face. Consider this, you who forget God, or I will tear you to pieces with none to rescue. He who sacrifices thank offerings honors me, and he prepares the way so that I may show him the salvation of God.